Hi there, Aaron Finkelberg here, Automation Engineer with the Ken Electric Automation Team. Today I would like to demonstrate how to add additional parameters that you can read or write from the PLC to a PowerFlex drive over Ethernet. Now when I say after the fact, this means the machine has already been commissioned and all of the Ethernet connections are good. But now you want to add some other additional parameters. Let's say you want to look at the drive's output current or possibly from an HMI be able to adjust the drive's acceleration or deceleration parameters. This can sometimes lead to errors and confusion when attempting this process to an application that's already been running. I am here to show you the proper steps and how to successfully configure the connection format between the PLC and the drive. Okay, so you can see here we're connected to the machine that we want to modify. The controller is currently in remote run mode and the IO OK light is happy. So let's go ahead and adjust some parameters or add some additional parameters to the 525 drive um, information to the PLC. So I can either double click here on the PowerFlex drive or just right click and select properties. And the first thing you need to do is disconnect the connection between the PLC and the drive communications because what happens is if you try to alter or modify the information reading and writing back and forth between the PLC and the drive, this is where the error or the issue typically lies. So um, another thing you can do is physically unplug the drive from the controller, plug in your computer directly to the drive, but sometimes that's not always easy. So for me, I like to just go into the connection tab and inhibit the communications between the PLC and the drive. And I'll apply that. And it's just warning me that I'm going to disconnect that connection between the two. I'm going to say yes. Now I'm going to go ahead and go offline with the PLC. You have to do this offline. And so if I jump into the device definition and go to connection format, here is the input data from the drive to the PLC. So what I can do now is I can go select up to four additional parameters you can see here. So I can choose things like, uh, let's say output current. Let's look at the TC bus voltage. And maybe the fault code. And now on the output information, this is from the PLC to the drive. We want to modify the Excel time, and we will also select the decel time. And we'll say OK to that. It's just warning me that we're going to change the information via uh, read and written to. So now what I can do is go up here to the Connect tab. And I'm going to download those changes to the drive to update the drive so it knows what kind of information is going to, it's going to be fed from the PLC to the drive and also the information the PLC is requesting from the drive. So we're going to download that information here. You can see it knows the connection to the drive. It's going right directly to it. It's been completed, yes. Let's finish that. Now we need to download the program to the controller because what we did is we updated the drive's side of the equation. Now we need to download the PLC program in there because it knows as well the changes that I've made. Let's download that. Go back to run mode. Let's go back to our connection tab and reestablish the communications between the PLC and the drive. Apply that. Yes. Now you can see we're back online. We're okay here. Say okay there. Now let's go take a look at the controller tags and see that information updated in here. So again, this is the input information from the drive to the PLC. So if we look at this, we can now scroll down to the bottom and now you'll see the output current, bus voltage, and fault code being fed from the drive back into the PLC. 
And on the output information from the PLC to the drive, if we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see here that we've added the Excel and decel time parameters. So that's it. No biggie. Thank you for watching our video. If you would like more information on today's topic, please contact your Kendall Electric Account Manager or Automation Specialist. You can also visit our website at kendallelectric.com to find a location nearest you. Stay connected by subscribing to our YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook or LinkedIn. Thank you and hope to see you on our next Kendall Quick Connection video. Have a great day.